I'm gonna go see Star Wars by myself um, tonight, so I thought, uh, let's put on makeup. Now, I've been doing makeup on myself for a whole, like, two months now. And, um, and by gosh, I, I <laughs> so let's freaking, let's, let's, let's show this mess. There's that five head come into play, just gonna, yeah. When last you left me on the internet, um, I, I had just come out um, as gender fluid. I'm now identifying as non-binary. And, and these are things that aren't really necessarily related to makeup. Uh, for me, they are kind of, I have been feeling confident um, and, and, and having fun being more feminine recently. Um, and it's been feeling amazing and, and liberating and all of these fun things. Um, but it, 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 I don't want to make this a video about that. I just want to freaking do my face and just talk about life a little bit. How about that? Holy crap, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a makeup artist. I literally, like I said, two months is all I've gotten. And, I, and I've watched, I'm watching stuff and learning and having a blast doing it. Um, but it's just, so just, just, just listen. Just going to start off by using this generic Target brand uh, moisturizer on my face because, listen, uh, I, I I need to moisturize, but I don't have any money, so this is what we do. So I'm back on YouTube now. Um, I've missed it. I've missed YouTube a lot, and I want to talk a little bit about um, some of the stuff that uh, that I've been thinking about in the interim. I mentioned it in uh, in my previous video, but, uh, but I felt very kind of obligated and trapped and um and i and i figured out the source of kind of all of that and i'm sure those of you who watched my content uh kind of got this vibe as well uh, i get the vibe from from watching my videos that i was doing for a while they're all so sad <laughs> right like i tried to to um infuse them with hope and optimism and all those things but at some point it became performative right and it wasn't it wasn't honesty um, which it, it, that isn't to say anything that I did was illegitimate and not valid because that that was where I was That was the honesty in that point, but um, but uh, I wasn't feeling it It all started it all started when I was watching Westworld and I'm gonna start putting on foundation And we're gonna talk about Westworld. So uh, Westworld I was obsessed with it when it was when it was you know doing doing the stuff doing the things I'm gonna look in this mirror sometimes. Oh, oh just knock the, the hair thing off. That's awesome That's a great start great start guys. I was watching Westworld and I'm not gonna get all spoilery about like anything there um, basically uh, There is a bit in the series where they start talking about the narrative and how um, <laughs> some people are stuck in narratives and they have to write new narratives. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm being generic in case you wanna watch the show. You should watch the show. Uh, it got me thinking about life. And I had a realization about myself. Um, that realization was that um, the narrative that I am living in, that I am existing in currently, or was existing in, uh, it wasn't working for me anymore. It was not working for me. I started identifying my entire existence with suffering. The way I lived my life, I was, um, I was sad. And I always viewed myself like I was in this sort of like constant convalescence. Like, like I was always recovering from something. I never really got to living. You know what I mean? I just sort of um, was, was, was recovering always. And I isolated myself as such. I, I, I didn't talk to anyone. Everything became about like struggling. Resilience was like the only thing that I felt like I could be. You know, like I could, the only thing I could be was resilient, was, was responding and recovering and, 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 and freaking struggling. And you know what? For a while, yeah, that's pretty much what my life was. And, and I needed to be that because my focus had to be on recovery. It had to be on, um, on fixing myself and figuring out what my problems are. Something that I saw, um, somebody tweet. Uh, like not too long ago. I forget who the user was. I would freaking at them, but I don't remember But they said it was something along the lines of um, the defense mechanisms and the the coping strategies you had for survival Are not gonna work when you're thriving and holy crap. Yeah, dude same. I got what I wanted I, I moved to the city that I wanted to move. I worked very hard to get there and uh, And then I got here and I started trying to do the same thing that got me there But that's not gonna work anymore because this is new baby. I'm learning to try and just live and to not worry and fear and and by all means confront the things that are dark and the things that are, are making you sad and making you upset, all those things. But don't forget to live in that process. And so I, I said, screw it. I'm gonna start you know buying skirts and, and, and heels and, and putting makeup on because that's who I am. You know, this is, it's, I've been caged inside. I've been so scared 
of my gender. I've been so scared of just like, just experimenting and showing off who I am. And I'm not scared anymore. What I am scared of are these under eye bags, y'all. Let's conceal, <laughs> let's friggin' conceal. All right. Still learning this stuff too. So, so, so friggin' bear with me on this one. Um, because, oh boy, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just slapping stuff on my face. Uh, and yeah, there we go. Let's just get rid of those. Some up here, cause, cause, cause I break out there a lot. Isn't that fun? That's great. That's good stuff. Yeah. On the nose. Grab the sponge I was just using and I'm gonna just, yeah. I really get in there. Yeah. I feel like I'm sharing an intimate moment by doing this with y'all and, um, and I love it. I love that about what's happening right now. I feel like maybe, should I just drop everything and just become a beauty guru? I think I should do that. You know, I think this is like a, this is a good look for me, right? No. I need another sponge. I need another sponge. Now I'm gonna go in with some powder cause I, I got lines under here and I'm gonna try and avoid having that be the case. So I'm just gonna, just gonna freaking do some of that. Do some of that noise. What do you guys think, brows? What do you guys think, brows? Yeah, brows, let's do brows. Just gonna grab a little bit of black eyeshadow because we are the night. That's what we are, is the night. I have already pretty thick eyebrows, so like, I don't like have to do this, right? But I feel like, I feel like I want to. So I'm just filling them in a little bit, just filling these suckers in a little bit. And now to the good eyebrow. I'm sorry, righty, but lefty wins every single day. But a wise friend once told me, um, Ava Gordy, actually, you might know her, she's on YouTube. Um, in the internet, uh, she told me one day, uh, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. And, um, and that's really stuck with me over the years. <laughs> Where's that brush that I want? I had a brush that I want to use. Ah, great God, where? Ah, crap. I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna use my finger. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go into this concealer now, and I'm going to, to just go up and just friggin' and just, like, help out right here to just cover up, because... Cause my body is, is, is unfortunately masculine and it grows a lot of hair very quickly. So I'll do, I'll do my brows, right? I'll fix them up. And then all of a sudden uh, there's hair there. And I'm like, no body, stop doing hair. Stop being mammalian. Stop doing those things. And now I'm going to prime my eyes. Look at me. I'm like totally like d diving in head first to like watching a heck ton of, um, of makeup tutorials on YouTube. And, uh, and it's just like a whole new world for me, you know? Because I've been on YouTube, what, for a millennium? And I'm finally venturing into to that side of things. How fun is that? That's so fun. Now, I just want you guys to know that um, I'm, I'm becoming a vampire, right? Like, my life, I'm, that's what I'm doing now with my life, is just being a vampire. And um, and as such, that's what the makeup is going to be. So, uh, so it's like my everyday look, you know? I just wear it out, not in the sunlight. <laughs> Stop. Whoop. That was the cat. That was the cat. She's freaking out. <laughs> Gonna get some of this excess fun off now. All right. I don't know where I was. I was talking about life and stuff. And I, know, I forgot I forgot where I was. I encourage each and every one of you watching th these videos to just always be vigilant. You know what I mean? And trust your feelings because because uh, for a while I stopped trusting my own feelings. My own feelings were telling me I had to change something. My own feelings were telling me that... Um, that I needed to make an adjustment in how I perceived myself and, and how I showed myself to the world and, um, and how I did videos, how I was an artist. I, I had to rethink a lot of things and, um, and I, I pushed that off for way too long, I think. It really took, um, number one, stopping making videos and number two, getting my heart punched in the chest to really sort of wake up and remember that, um, that self-realization takes work and progress takes work. And yeah, you just gotta trust that it'll work out okay, but you gotta put the work in. And I haven't been putting the work in, um, but I'm putting the work in now and, and also on my face. I actually haven't used this liner yet, so this will be fun. It's in black, of course. What other option is there? There is no other option. Are there other colors? No, there's not. There's only black. Can you go into the waterline? Freaking get this thing popping. I remember the first time when I was doing theater in high school, when somebody tried to do eyeliner on my waterline, and, and it was hilarious. And by hilarious, I mean, for me, it was traumatic, but, um, but I struggled through it 
like the baby that I was at the time. And I just look back on that and I think that's just, that's just hysterical. That's just so funny. <laughs> I don't really do the lid because I'm scared to do the lid because I, I have a lot of fear in my life and I just choose to avoid it and run away from it, um, like most of my problems. So I just sort of leave that be. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. Did you guys like my song? It's called I'm Gonna Do My Eyeshadow. So like I said earlier in the video, I've only really been doing my makeup for like two months. Um, and so what happened was Halloween happened, right? And I bought all this makeup and I was like, yeah, Halloween. I did it last year too, where like I did makeup and I loved it. I had so fun, so much fun doing it. And, um, and then I just had all this makeup left over and I was like, I'm going to start like actually doing my makeup now. So I just started doing it and it was so awesome because I just, I just like, dove in and I felt confident enough and I was recently I was at my work holiday party and I just wore makeup to it and not only that I wore heels to it and it was just so rad but yeah it's just makeup yeah it's just stuff you put on your face but like it's it's it is scary you know it's scary to go outside the norms that you have um that you've set for yourself or that the world has set for you for your entire life and to just um to try and embrace that and change that up uh, is cool and it's fun and I encourage everyone to like do that, you know, just like challenge yourself and like really get out there it, to explain what I'm doing. I'm just I, I I am not I do not know what I'm doing here. So I'm just throwing I throw one color on there throw this one this one color here and I go under the lash line as well because I want to look dead. That's the ideal goal is here to look to look as dead as possible while still being alive on the outside. On the inside, already dead. So we just want to show the world, you know, what's going on there. Um, and <laughs> I dyed my hair black um, uh, for Halloween, uh, but really Halloween, all, all it was was the excuse um, to, uh, to just dye my hair black because I've wanted to have black hair for a long time. I never d dyed my hair and I did it, you know, with a friend here uh, at my house. You know, I didn't, what am I gonna pay money? Have somebody to do it right for me? <laughs> Silly. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I have black hair now and I was like, okay, I'm going to be Gerard Way for Halloween. I'm going to be Kylo Ren for Halloween. And, um, and I did it and I did makeup and I, and it's just fun. I'm having fun. I'm going to head in with some highlight. I'm going to head in with some highlight. And I'm just going to friggin' dab that, dab that noise right up in here. Right up in the center. While we're here, let's highlight. Let's highlight here. This is also one I've only recently dove into, and that's um, and that's mascara, cause uh, cause I want to get my lashes popping. So I'm gonna get my lashes popping. So enough about me and what I've been doing and what I've been up to in the last seven months. What have you guys been up to? Please leave comments. Tell me what your lives are like. I care. I wanna I wanna start a dialogue. I want this to be more of a dialogue these days. I want to. I want to have fun with this. I want this to be collaborative. Uh, I want you to like share your ideas, share your stuff, share your experience, share your joy. We should share a lot of joy. The world is very sad right now, and so I would like to share more joy, as much joy as possible. And yes, I'm aware of the contrasting ideals of putting on like, like this level of. <laughs> vampire goth aesthetic but we're living in the upside down so um yeah i messed that up a lot um messed that up a whole lot uh but you know we're learning it's fun <laughs> just gonna pull my hair back and um and yeah that's the look completed so this is <laughs> i go out like this and uh yeah and now i'm gonna go see star wars by myself i hope that you found this romp enjoyable if not weird. Uh, I don't really know if there's going to be any kind of narrative or something here, but this is my face now, so I guess we accomplished that objective. Um, yeah, I love you guys a lot. Uh, if you guys missed my, my last video, it's going to be somewhere on the screen next to my face. I don't know how anything works anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go see Star Wars and probably react and cry a lot. Bye, guys!